Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I thought we'd do something a little bit different this week, and I thought I would reach out to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts and ask some of the viewers and friends out there if they had any good ideas about building some, some metal projects or some wood projects, and the response was really overwhelming. I got a ton of really great ideas, and maybe we'll use some of those in later videos to come. However, there was one that got my attention and I thought would be a really interesting build, and that's a Harley Davidson sign. Well, I'm not a Harley Davidson owner. I don't have a Harley Davidson, I never have, but I thought it would be interesting and it looked like a really good project. So I went to the internet and I found some images of some Harley Davidson metal art, and I got some pretty good ideas. So with that said, let's get started. Right, so I started out with a piece of uh, blank paper, uh, two foot by three foot roughly, and uh, started to sketch out by hand, um, you know, the, the letters and the logo, if you will, on this piece of paper. And, and I got to tell you, I, I'm not an artist by, by no means. So uh, this was something that was all new to me. Um, but I got to say, it, the very first time out, it, uh, it came together really good. And I'm pretty excited about that. That came along here pretty good. And uh, once I got everything the way I wanted it and darkened everything up, it was time to um, get out the uh, X-Acto knife and cut the letters out. Uh, now, I've, I'm doing this to create a, a stencil, if you will. And you know, once I uh, got this all done and all cut out, which uh, worked pretty good, and I'm just I'm just guessing this is the way I want to do it. I was hoping it was gonna work because there's a lot of time invested to this point right here. So once I got everything all done and cut out, I uh, was able to have the stencil and I just uh, glued it to the back of the metal and then just took some white paint and just kind of sprayed everything in and that uh, is going to give me, uh, you know, once I peel the stencil off, um, hopefully it's going to give me the, the letters that uh, I'll be able to use to use the plasma cutter to, to cut everything out with. So. There it is. Actually worked pretty good and I'm glad it did because uh, like I said, there was there was a lot of time invested into initially drawing that up and then transferring it uh, cutting it out with the exacto knife and, and transferring over to this point. So we're at this point right here and uh, now it's uh, time to start uh, cutting it out. So I knew there was going to be a lot of continuous cutting. Uh, so I wanted to create like a little plug because uh, on my... Uh, plasma cutter right there I just took that plug in the safety switch I know it's not the way to go but uh, at least on this particular project I know there's gonna be a lot of starting to stop and starting to stop and I wanted to be sure that I all I needed to do for this project was just pull the trigger and go so that was the idea for that and as you can see we're starting to cut everything out right here and uh, you know what it, it's working it's working really good it, it's I'm glad it did because uh, I didn't know this is kind of a one-shot deal if you screw something up it's it's over but uh, anyways uh, it turned out pretty good and uh, and uh, I'm shaky but not too shaky but uh, it was it was fun and I didn't make any mistakes there's a couple of things I would have probably changed if I could and that is uh, the A's on Harley and Davison uh, so maybe off a little bit. I could have done something a little bit more with that, but uh, hey, for my first time around, it uh, turned out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased the way it turned out, and a couple of really good close-up shots right here. That plasma cut of cutting out. Uh, I got to say that painted trace line worked pretty good for me. And once I got everything all cut out, um, when I lifted that off, it was I thought it was interesting how all those letters were just kind of stuck together right as I cut them out. More on that later, but uh, anyways. Now, now uh, the only thing left to do here is just cut the outside. And again, I was kind of concerned about that because I didn't know how my freehanding ability was going to be. And and uh, you can see where I start. I start well off the project and then bring it in every time I start and stop, so I don't uh, burn, you know, through the sign itself. But uh, you know that worked out pretty good. Um, and cut that thing out. And there it is. I kind of put those letters back together. It was, they almost were like that when I lifted the thing off. That was, I thought that was pretty cool. So now, you know, I, I, I thought I would try to do some rusting on this thing. And I looked on the internet and they said uh, vinegar and water solution. And you, and you pray that and you kind of brush that on and kind of give it a little bit of rust deal. But I got to say, 
there was some sort of a mill coat on the particular metal that I had, so I didn't quite get that effect. It did a little bit, but not, not as much as I wanted to, but it doesn't matter. It's cool anyway. It looks good the way it was. So I didn't really know what I was going to do right here with the, with the backboard, and I ultimately decided I was just going to get a piece of plywood and, and cut something out that I could uh, perhaps bolt the, the sign to. And then I wanted to give it a little bit of character, so I just kind of uh, notched, rounded the edges off uh, with my jigsaw right there and, and once we uh, got that done um, I wanted to take it a little bit farther so I got my little palm router out and uh, like a, a little detail edge around it to give it just a little something which I thought was pretty cool and then just sanding the edges up to take all the rough stuff off and maybe even round it a little bit more just to make it look at all that more rustic and then I, I had to, uh, there's a couple of colors involved here, so I had to trace the sign um, out onto the board, and then I had to tape off uh, the colors that I wanted to to spray first, and that's what you see me doing right here. You know, I just used, I used a lot of tape right here, and uh, I might have been some other way to do it, but there it is, the first color's in, it's kind of an orange, burnt orange -ish. so once I got that in, I pulled it off, and then... I've got a little antique white color that's going to go here. And here I just used a couple boards to save on some tape and uh, just move things over and got that done. And once it was peeled off, I just took my belt sander here to give it some more, again, rustic type of look um, is what I'm looking for. Uh, this is all, by the way, stuff just in my head at the last minute. I, I, I'm not... Uh, you know, I was hoping everything would turn out the way uh, the way it is. So far, so good. I'm pretty pleased with it. This is just some, uh, like, oak stain that I had sitting on the shelf. Um, I just used it because I had it on the shelf. Um, I thought it looks pretty cool. You know, by the time it uh, all gets on there and, and uh, I get it uh, wiped off, you know, it's old school type of look. But you know what? That's the, the look I was trying to achieve right here. And then once we got everything all wiped off, I even wanted to add a little bit more touch to it. So I just thought I'd grab my torch and kind of burn, burn the edges in a little bit and give it that uh, burnt look. Um, again, I don't know, just what I thought would look cool or look different. And I'm pretty pleased with it, turned out. Now I had a couple choices here. Uh, I ended up with the polyurethane glossy finish and, and it, it was okay. I... I probably would have liked to gone with the semi-gloss finish. This turned out a little bit more glossy than I was hoping for, but ah, still, it it uh, it turned out pretty good. I'm okay with it. Now we had to bolt this thing down, and so um, I had this idea of just getting some carriage bolts and peening the end. I took my ball peen hammer and just kind of like peen the end of those uh, carriage bolts to give them again an old beat up rustic type of look. And uh, once I got that all done. Uh, that turned out pretty cool, by the way. Again, just something I thought about at the spur of the moment. So I just started out, and I just, uh, I'm, there's only going to be four bolts that's going to hold this thing onto the sign. And so I got those marked where I wanted to and drilled it through right here on the metal part of the sign. And then on the wood sign, I, I just marked them uh, and then just took a smaller, like a 1 8 drill bit, and, and got a little pilot hole in there. Uh, these are bolts and it's going to be, you know, there's going to be nuts on the backside and they are going to protrude out a little bit. So I wanted to, uh, you know, kind of recess it in. So that's what I'm doing right here. I grabbed up like a Forstner drill bit right here. I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch. And I went in about halfway through this three quarter inch plywood to create a pocket, if you will. So when I put the, uh, the bolts through and the nut on, the nut would have a place to, to sit in there. It would be hopefully somewhat recessed and not sticking out and uh, you got to hang this on the wall or whatever yeah wrong way i know we'll fix that there we go all right just bolting everything together i gotta say that it, it, it's pretty cool those little peened uh um bolts like that kind of just gave it that little added uh added touch that uh, i thought looked pretty good and then there they are tightened in. I just uh, took my cutoff wheel and just cut the excess off. And they are sticking out just a little bit, but hey, not too bad. So I found a little wire kit that I had in one of my drawers and uh, I thought this would be perfect. So we went ahead, just got the wire kit on there and finished up. Good project.
me. <laughs> okay, well there it is, the Harley sign is complete, and I gotta say, it was, uh, it was fun making this project. I'm not an artist by any means, and sketching this out on the paper was a bit of a challenge for me, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.